Next up, we've got an aluminum frame conversion, CR500 Honda. This has got the IRC M5D. Look at this bike, this thing's beautiful. Wow. If that don't get your blood flowing, you might be dead. Seconds. You got it covered. I see it going on the left here. Too much horsepower, if there is such a thing. That thing sounds like you got it jetted beautifully. Thank you. Good job. Is that your son or? No. No, my son Bass. Oh, sorry, sorry about that, brother. Colin Crescent? That's it. That's your beautiful. Guys, this is a 1997 CR500. As you know, if you follow the channel, that's my that's my favorite year. These things are freaking awesome. Number 97. Low, he's gonna uh, send it. He's got a Scalvini pipe on this thing. CR500 blacked out swing arm. Stretch swing arm, as you can see. Sounds good, sounds good. Woo! Hell yeah! Send it! Looking good. This bike looks fresh. Look at the look at the length of the baffle on this thing. There's a clue to the horsepower hidden inside. Absolutely sent it. Yes, that was a ten, man. That was, that was. Man, I, I didn't see the time, but that looked fast to me. I don't think he let off at all. He just sent it. Yeah. That was awesome. I think it's a YZ450, or is it a 4, 426 steel frame YZ? This is a five valve per cylinder. I won a few championships on these in motocross. That thing's badass. Nice, nice, nice run. Nice run. Oh yeah.
That's the loudest 450 you ever heard. I think I'm deaf now. What a monster. Okay, this guy lost a bet for sure. <laughs> he had to wear the tutu. Never underestimate. Holy shit. Never underestimate the guy in a tutu. That's for sure. If he's got the balls to wear that and go up there, God bless him. Oh. Air-cooled CR500. What year is that motor? 84. Ah, one of the best years ever. 84 CR500. You big board two-stroke guys. Look at this thing. That thing is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Look at that. It's full custom frame on this one, guys. That, that's that's a lot of work, man. It's got full custom suspension, frame. You can see the cylinder on it is really special. That's a, uh, looks like a CNC machine head. Fired right up. You know they got this one tuned to the nines. Look at the pipe on it. The pipe is sick. Gotta love these old Hondas. Guys, this bike's 40 years old, 40. It don't matter, that horsepower. This has got all over a new four stroke. I put, I put my money on this straight up against any of the new 450s, straight up on the dyno. I guarantee it's got more power. Another one built by Rat Racing. Those guys are legends in this sport. Sending it with the young guns, giving them a run for their money on this Harley Davidson factory XR750 flat tracker. This was on display. If it looks familiar, I've done a bunch of videos of Mike on this. In fact, this was on display at the New England Motorcycle Museum for, for a season in one winter. Beautiful bike. Oh shit! 
down. He, he's all right. He's all right. This is Mike's daughter right here. Uh, Mike's. How old's Mike now? 66. So it's pretty soon. Uh, you're gonna have to take over and send it up the mountain for him, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I used to, but it's been a while. I love seeing the women hill climbers out there. You know, I think women are the most important people in racing today because if the moms and the grandmas don't don't like bikes, then the kids don't get to ride. So it's good seeing you out here supporting your dad. Good job, Mike. Get him next time, brother. It's cool seeing it him here with his daughter. That's awesome. American dream right there. These guys are making it happen here. Uh, through the chain, I think. Not good. Bummer. Mike, they told you not to go in the woods. You went in the woods, brother. I thought I seen Sasquatch. Sasquatch is <laughs> over there. I seen him. Oh, man, you got your ear filters. Oh, your, your carb came out. Yeah, but I didn't get any. Good. Didn't get any sand in there. You're okay. Mike looks awesome, as always. Captain America XR750. Way to go, Mike. You'll get him. Hey, you gonna come back for the second moto? Yeah. Get her fixed up. Good man. I was about her age. Never forget it. Awesome. First time. 
climb up the hill. Oh, he almost made it. First time up the hill, Selby number 411 on the YZ252 show. I have a prediction. He's going to send it and fly over the top. That's my bet. These little two bitty two strokes are awesome. Probably a motocross rider. Those guys always do well in hill climbing. Made it right over the top, no problem. Team effort, he's got his son helping out. What are you riding today? You gonna send it? Really make it pop. Nice looking bike, man. What do you what do you predict your time will be? Uh -huh. I'm pretty slow. I my goal is just to make it over. You got it covered with the 500, no problem. Good luck. Look at this. Wow. H27. Is that a 750? 750. Beautiful. Three cylinder, two stroke. Man, that thing's nasty. You ever weigh, weigh this bike? Around 300. 300 pounds? How many horsepower do you think she's putting down? More than enough, I'd say. Plenty? Plenty. More than enough. More than I'll ever reach. That thing's badass. Yeah. Is that an each 750 frame or is it a special frame? Uh, it's a different frame from the 80s. The motor's a 72. That thing's badass. Was it a lot of work to get it mounted in there? Hell yeah. Uh, it, it took some time. Did, did you build it yourself? No, my uncle did years ago. Jimmy O'Connell that does a lot up here too. Is the one that built it. That's a timeless bike, man. I kind of like it in the old frame. It looks me cool. Too. Me too. Never Badass. It what, what, it off. what was your time last time up? Oh, Jesus. I haven't even run today yet. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, brother. I'm definitely going to get that one on film. You got it. Not every day you see an H2 750 fly up the mountain. That's awesome. Oh, that was these are all the classes they got. They got something for everybody. Micro, mini, 65, mini, senior, 125, 200, open, junior, senior, 250, 450, 600, open. They have vintage, stock wheelbase. They have a women's class, uh, four strokes, super senior for the old guys. Something for everybody. Lots of cool bikes here today. There's motocross bikes, 2015. How about this one right here? That thing's just beautiful. Nice 500s. Boy, that thing's clean. Look at that. Wow. I think that's a 97. Another stretched 500. Beautiful. 
Look at this Kawasaki 500 tips. Pro circuit. Freaking beautiful. Polished cylinder. Custom intake stretched. That's beautiful. Red, white, and blue. God bless America. Look at this thing. Wow. Yamaha. Look at this thing. CR500. All done up nice. Very cool. Gotta bring the kids, bring the whole family. Months of hill climb. Mike, I haven't, I haven't seen you send this one before. Is this something newer? Yes, it's probably not going to be pretty. It might be a little easier than wrestling the Harley up the hill, though, huh? I, I heard you lost the bet. That's why you're wearing this big... That's I, why I lost the bet. I, what, what was the bet? Uh, if I beat James Green last week, two weeks ago, at North Rose, I ran a 10-0, he ran a 9-9. So, if I beat him here in the first round, he has to wear it. I didn't beat him here in the first round. We got you by a tenth of a second, huh? Yep, a tenth of a second. That's awesome. Get it, man. Good job. First time over the hill at 62. Got the kids out here sending it today too. On the 50s. Oh, Next generation. Single overhead cam. 
He'll get it next time. Not bad for the first time off. First time on that regular bike. He'll get it next time. I had one. I had one in North Coast. That was my Cool. Look at this thing. I know. I love it. Ace two seven fifty. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. That thing's badass. Yeah. What a beauty. Six years old, Mike Nardone. What's stopping you guys? Get off the couch, get out of there, and have some fun. Mike just stepped up on a Harley Davidson. Come on, Mike. You got this. Job. Nice job. Mike, 66 years old, still sending it up the mountain. The Munson Monster. Torque, that 480 monster torque right over the mountain. There's Mr. Lindy right here. He's the president of the club. He had a bet last week with uh, one of the other fast guys. Whoever lost had to wear a pink tutu. He got a 9.9 .9 and the other got, uh, he got a 10.0 and the other guy beat him by a tenth of a second. So he stuck. But if he beats him in the first photo, the other guy's got to wear the pink tutu. So that's funny. He got a sense of humor still. So. I think that's his, that might be his daughter. Um, on the Kawasaki KX85. looking fresh.
lady's gonna send it on this fresh looking Kawasaki 450. 